What's up guys, it's Tobias here and welcome to episode 12 of Let's Play Ultimate Team. So as you saw then at the end of episode 11, we did go ahead and we did buy Levetsi, brought him into the squad and he is out of formation so he is only on that 7 chemistry. When we do have the, enough coins we are going to swap him out for the 4 on 2 on 2 version so he is on 9 chemistry. So as you saw there then, straight from kickoff, uh, Levetsi did actually get a great opportunity, he didn't actually manage to score it. Uh, but nonetheless straight after that he did get another opportunity and this time he did absolutely bury it into the back of the net. So he did actually score on his debut for the squad in the ninth minute which is always good to get new players in the squad on the score sheet. We did actually go 2-0 up in the 11th minute. Lucas actually buried that straight into the back of the net. He could have buried that. He could have trapped that, sorry. Uh, but he did actually take it by himself. An absolute beautiful ball there from Remy. Absolute stunner. That partnership between the Bamiyang and Remy, as I say in every single episode, is probably one of the best partnerships I've ever played with on Ultimate Team this year. Straight after that, then, we do get a Bamiyang again, as always, tearing through the defence. He does actually curl that straight around the goalkeeper on his left foot, which is nice to see him scoring with his left foot and after that just showing the sheer pace he does have and he does actually get another goal there then supporting Remy who actually did bury that this time uh, just before half time so we do go into half time at 4-0 up so we are absolutely steaming ahead here with the three points I mean it is pretty much impossible to lose uh, from a 4-0 winning in the half time uh, but we are creating ourselves all sorts of more opportunities I mean a Bamiyang here he should have buried that I mean he is absolutely brilliant dribbling past defenders uh, when on a counter attack I do actually manage to lose my clean sheet here then in the 54th minute Santi Cazorla actually gets ahead of there so he does actually bring it to 2-4-1 uh, but because of that we did want to get as many goals as possible because we did concede and here I do go 5-1 up again with the Bamiyang in the 67th minute and from there it's literally just opportunity after opportunity here Levetsi on his debut unfortunately not scoring uh, to make his second goal there he does actually shatter the crossbar and again here I mean he should have buried that so he could have had his hat trick but unfortunately he did blow that wide so the first game is a solid three points we do take them uh, in a 5-1 winning and as you can see there then the first the front three players we've got Bamiyang, Remy and Lucas all have ratings over 9.5 which is absolutely unbelievable we do lose a contract here so I do just go quickly pop into the market and I'll just pick one up for I think that was 350 coins which isn't too much uh, we do have 3,000 coins now because we did buy Levetsi which did cost me quite a bit but we do go ahead and we do head into our second game so as you can see then he does have Eto, he does have man of the match m &E up front as well so I know I'm going to be up uh, against a lot of pace but I do have a lot of pace in my team so it isn't going to be too much of an advantage for him so it isn't even equal matching but I do take the lead there then with Remy and I believe that was in the around the 18th minute so I was steaming ahead here opportunity after opportunity Lucas there then just putting it over and a great chance from Emanike here and that that save from Sirigu was absolutely unbelievable again he is probably for the coins he costs I mean I bought him for under 2,000 coins he is an absolute bargain what happened here with Remy I do not know I mean he was pretty much one-on-one -on -one with a keeper um, and he did put that wide but nonetheless he does make up for it in the first half just before the half time interval in the 45th minute with an absolute beautiful ball played there through by Lucas I believe that one so he did score there to put 2-0 two, two before the half time and Aubameyang here then putting me 3-0 up just before half time uh, so we do go into the dressing room at a 3-0 now as I said in my first game it is almost impossible to come back for a player to come back when you're 4-0 up but this game just shows how if you're 3-0 down you always do have a chance the amount of people that rage quit from games when they're 2 3 nil down is absolutely unbelievable and this is a perfect example of how someone can come back when someone is 3 nil down so I was absolutely raging I mean as you saw I was 3 nil up and I did let myself concede two goals straight after half time which is absolutely raging and I did concede a penalty here which was it a penalty you can decide personally I think it was as you can see that I absolutely launched my remote across the room and as my as you can see the battery pack actually came out of my remote but he did stick Eto on the end of the on the end of the penalty here and it of course Eto is never going to miss those kind of penalties I mean it wasn't even the best kind of penalty uh, Sirigu did just dive the wrong way so he did equalize to make that three all uh, so we are in the 90th minute and Aubameyang just shows here with this guy in the 90th minute last kick of the game shows he is an absolute quality player I mean you can pick him up for around 1200 coins 150 uh, 1500 go coins sorry uh, and as you can see that was an absolutely brilliant goal in the 90th minute and that is how the game did end so we did get another three points that is six uh, six points out of the two games so far in this episode uh, Bamiyang and Remy I cannot explain how much of a beast the two of them are if you do have both of them in the striking position in the same squad 
So we do only need um, three more points now, and I believe we have five games available to play. And we do head into our third and final game of this episode. And we do come up against a nice Bundesliga squad. As you can see there, he's got Gomez and Royce, I believe that was up front. But in the 12th minute, we do have a lovely ball there through to, uh, I believe that was a Bamiang. Again, his pace and the way he plays online is absolutely unbelievable. But unfortunately, he didn't bear it. But nonetheless, we do come back in the 30th minute. Again, it pretty much exactly the same ball. Uh, and I did take Remy to take the shot from around 20 yards out. I didn't get him to take it one on the goalkeeper he did rocket that into the top corner so we are going on the 1-0 then in the first half he does manage to get a corner here and unfortunately we do concede with it I mean Felipe Santana is so OP I think uh, on FIFA this year he's probably one of the most OP centre backs in the game he is an absolute brilliant and the price he, 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 you have to pay to buy him online this year is absolutely unbelievable for the way he does play online nonetheless though I do take the 2-1 lead in the 77th minute with Suzuko here I mean uh, Sacco did actually get the first header on the ball as you can see here I have included the replay it is going wide uh, but Sacco did actually uh, Sizisco sorry did actually run in there and uh, managed to pick up the ball that was going wide and put it in and here we can see an absolutely stunner of a goal from Bia Biana. He doesn't get on the score sheet a lot. It seems to always be Lucas, uh, Remy or Aubameyang. So when he does, it is absolutely brilliant to see him scoring goals. And as you can see, I did win that goal with the final goal there from Bia Biana in the 78th minute to take the 3-1 lead. So that is the three points. And as you can see here, that is the division title in Division 1. So I did say in the first episode of this series, the, the aim of this whole series would be to win uh, title, the Division 1 as quickly as possible. And as you can see here when we do leave I think that is a record of I don't have a clue so we're gonna have to wait here 30 wins zero losses and five wins that is an absolutely unbelievable record I did enter one tournament which is where two of those losses did come with so online we have only lost three times so please do leave in the comment section below what you would like to see me do if you'd like me to carry on this series and sell the whole squad as you can see that is the squad we have ended the series on I can easily sell that for around 20 to 30 thousand coins and we can bring in an a brilliant squad for that amount of coins so please do let me know in the comment section below what you would like to see me do i'll read them all and i will do whatever you want me to do so please do rate up other people's comments and until my next video i'll be speaking to you guys later take care